Hello friends, welcome. So in this video now I'm going to create the admin panel and let's go and log in with the admin user. So I'm going to say adminexample.com and add here the password and I think yeah. Password, okay. Then first also let's add the link here to click and go to the admin so we don't need to just to go and change the URL. For that in the VS code, we need to go inside the roads, uh, sorry, resources, JS, layouts, and in the authenticated layout, here we have the link for the dashboard, which is this one. And let's add one more for the admin. So let's copy this and duplicate it. And I'm going to name it. So let's select both of them and name admin.index. Also change this to be admin and save. Make sure you run the npm run dev. And here we have. Now let's click here and we are in the admin. All right, very good. Now let's go and search for Tailwind components. So in the tilewindcomponents.com, I'm going to select uh, layouts here on the components drop down, and let's see what we like. So this is good, it's simple, but I think it's okay. And uh, this is mini plus one column sidebar. Let's choose this one. Now you can choose what you like, but and let's go to the show code. Here we have the aside and we have a div. And let's copy this one here. Open the VS code and we are inside the authenticated layout here. I'm going to save this authenticated layout as the admin layout. So let's say admin layout dot view and inside now paste that in. So I'm going to leave one parent div here and I'm going to say add the class to be with full and also hedge full here and inside paste that what we have copied. Very good, save. Now if I go inside the pages admin and in the admin index dot view here we have imported the authenticated layout but we need I want to remove that and add the admin layout. So let's say import admin layout from the layouts admin layout.view and now replace this with the admin layout like this. Okay, let's save and let's see what we have in here. Yeah, we have something like this. Good. Now, uh, I don't want this image, so let's remove that from here. And let's scroll up. Here is the aside. This div is for the image here for the logo. And this div is for that image what I want to remove. So let's remove that and save it. Come here. Yeah. Okay, then I'm going to remove all the cards and add a slot here to display what we have inside the admin index or so what we put inside the here. So for that, let's close this UL and then we have a button okay and here is and in the aside then we have this h2 h5 for dashboard which is this one so also let's click and close this sticky div and now here is the container for our uh, slot so i'm going to uh, let's close all the grid here and let's remove that and inside I'm going to say slot. So what we, I think what we put inside here is, is going to display 
what we put here. And now, yes, as you can see, we have you are logged in as admin. If we change that to say welcome, welcome admin. Yeah, you can see we have welcome admin here. And I think we have too much code here for just this one. So let's uh, remove this one and not padding to us. I'm going to say padding of py4 and inside I'm going to say h1 for now welcome admin okay save and now we have that okay now here we need to just uh, replace this with uh, permissions roles and then work with them when we click here i want to go to the dashboard so let's go on the admin layout and let's navigate on the ul here we have the first ally which is the dashboard and i want to go to the slash admin uh, slash dashboard sorry but this is not going to be an anchor tag it's going to be an link and uh, yeah if i save i think we have imported the link here from inertia very good so let's click here and it's working now we need to change the color to be the same when we hover can change the color but i'm going to leave for now what i'm going i want to do in this video is if i go and log out we are logged in as admin and let's log out here and uh, not login let's register with a fake filler and now we are not admin but we can visit the admin so i want to protect that and for that let's navigate in the laravel permission package from spati and on the basic usage you can see we have here using a middleware let's click there and we can add on the route the middleware for example can publish articles which is a permission or for a role we need to add the role permission and role or permission if you use in Laravel 9 inside the road middleware or on Laravel 10 what I'm what I use is inside the middleware aliases so you can add all, all of them or I'm going to add only the role so let's copy this one and let's navigate inside the kernel PHP so let's open okay and here inside the middleware aliases we need to paste that in okay save and closed and now on the route we can add that for example the role and the name of the role here we have the name of the role so role colon in our case is going to be so let's navigate in the routes web route and here we have the route for the admin and let's add an array here So the first one is out and the second is going to be role colon and the name of the role in our case is admin and if i save now and let's navigate here we can see we have the user does not have the right roles okay let's go to the dashboard and if i log out and log in as admin so admin example add the password hit enter and uh, if i go another admin yeah we can see this okay friends that's it about this video and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much